Hello everyone, my name is Quad and right now there is a lot of lore game going on on the internet prior to Tenocon 2024. We are getting fed bits and pieces about the events regarding Warframe 1999 and Dr. Entrati in the form of online chats. And we also have a trailer that reveals a couple of things to us. Let's first go over the teaser trailer. You can go and look at it yourself on the official Warframe YouTube channel, Play Warframe. I'll be pausing a bit during the video to expose some hidden bits here and there when they are revealed. There's only a couple of them, so, you know, just a little bit. Let's ride the devil down. Now, we don't get anything new with the first section of the trailer. We got Arthur, the Excalibur, and Aoi, the Mag, as the start. But, we also get the reveal of Walt, whose name we don't know at the moment, just Walt. Thought you'd get a head start? <laughs> You'll need it. We could also see an online poster when we saw Walt, which could be some further implication for the lore and what happened, but we cannot be sure for now. There is something going on online. That is kinda it about the trailer, we got the Walt and we got the online poster, but there is one other poster I have found on the internet. What this poster here reads is Big Buys Pizza, New at the top and Tasty on the bottom. I know, not a lot, but here you have a nice pizza ad. I've seen a picture of Albrecht poster somewhere as well, but for the love of god I cannot find it anymore. If anyone has it or knows where it is, please let me know because I just want to see the graffiti that are next to the poster, that is the real lore implication here we are looking for. The graffiti are the most important thing when it comes to delivering lore in the Warframe 1999 universe it seems, because in the Whispers in the Wall quest we have actually seen some things and noticed them just by reading the graffiti, like the Albrecht is liar and he's coughing or he is staying, something like that. The graffiti are a bit faded, so you know, you can watch the previous video I made on my channel about the uh, translation of the Warframe 1999 language. Now let's go over the chats we have gotten with the Suspicious Correspondence website. If you want to read them yourself, there is a link down in the description, but I will try and let you know every lore implication behind this. But I must say that I am not all-knowing, so if you have some more information, corrections or other bits to share, please do it in the comments below. The theories are going wild on the internet right now, and the more crackhead the theory is, the funnier it is to read, at least to me, I don't know. Let's now go over the chats. Before reading the actual chats, let me first introduce the participants in the chat. There are five of them, Letterbomb, Socket, Odyssey, Mothership and Deadboy. Now we don't know who exactly they are, but we may get more info by reading the chats in the future not from this ones. First, let's start with the Entrati.kin. Letterbomb says, Did you guys hear about the doctor guy? Socket says, Here. Obviously correcting Letterbomb. Letterbomb says, He's like the super scientist or whatever. I heard he's got a cure. Surprised Pikachu face. Dead boy says, Dead face. Mothership says, Doctor Friday. Socket says, No, you mean Doctor Entrati. Have you not heard about him? He's all over the net. Mothership says, aren't they the same guy? Socket says, well, not really all over, but if we know where to look, and he then sends the picture of Dr. Entrati. Mothership says, whoa, you take this pic yourself? You meet him in person? Leatherbomb says, laugh my ass off, posers, don't act like you guys know something special. Odyssey says, 
You brought it up, dude. That boy says XD. So, from this little chat, we know that the gang here knows about Dr. Entrati, who supposedly has a cure for something. At the same time, there is also a mention of Dr. Friday, who could be just a famous doctor of the time, or a person who is similar to Dr. Entrati. What could the cure be about? Well, we don't really have any idea at the moment, but I am betting on the infestation-like masses we've seen in the Whispers in the Walls quest. We also get a picture of Albrecht at the escalator, which is nice, but it does confuse me a bit since the picture looks like it was taken during the New Year's Eve. I'm assuming this is after the conversation we have in front of us right now, so yeah. Anyways, I think we will not get more info from this little chat, so let's continue to the next file, named MIA.kin. Letterbomb says, holy crap guys, did you hear that? It was like an actual roar, but like weird. I don't know, weird. Dead boy says, sad face. Odyssey says, how should we know? It's not like we know where you live. Letterbomb says, I think it came from under the street, like in the sewer or something. You must have heard it. Socket says, just logging on now. I heard it too, folks. Mothership says, oh Lua, something is seriously wrong around here. Letterbomb says, it was so loud. I'm gonna go check it out, I'll try and take a picture. Obviously there's also a grammatical error here. Odyssey says, dude, what? Are you crazy? Mothership says, that's a terrible idea. Socket says, you still there, LB? Odyssey says, this isn't funny. Concerned face. Mothership says, hello? And then Leatherbomb says, this message has been deleted on the authority of Skaldra, according to Section 21C of the Emergency Powers Information Access Act. Thank you for your cooperation. Odyssey says, what in the soul's name is that? Now, this chat is crazy. We first get the information that something is in the sewers and it is roaring. Now, I don't know what this might be, but... It is definitely something massive if people heard it on the streets. There is a mention of Lua, the moon, which means that Lua already held an important role in the society of Warframe 1999, before the Orokin Empire. Later on we also see that they mention Sol, the sun, so yeah, these two celestial bodies had some significance even before the Orokin Empire that came later on. If we continue, Letterbomb went out and tried to take a picture, but it was detected by Skaldra, or S-C-A-L-D-R-A. -A. Ugh. Okay, according to the Section 21C of the Emergency Power Information Access Act. Now this is great. We don't really know about what the organization of Skaldra is at the moment, but I am assuming it is some sort of secret service, or even the organization our protagonists are a part of. Arthur, Owie, Wold Guy, Quincy, and so on. The file's name, MIA, is a reference to Letterbomb going missing after posting the picture. Anyways though, this is all this chat had to offer. Let's now go over the last one for now, Barricade.kin. Odyssey says, this place is so totally dead right now. Dead face. Socket says, that is not funny. Odyssey says, but... There is nothing to do. Odyssey says, can't even rent a movie, all the good stuff is totally cleaned out. Socket says, don't know what you expect when everybody is trying to get out of town right now. Everybody who isn't trapped inside. Dead boy says, I don't know what that face means exactly, but it's a serious face I guess. Mothership says, what's that supposed to mean? Yeah, here... I'm also confused. Socket says, they're stopping people from crossing the bridges right now, both ways. Mothership says, be serious. Socket says, it's true, those new guys with that nasty green stuff aren't messing around either. I saw somebody try to slide their Tommy through the tunnel traffic and one of their big dudes just clotheslined them right off. Mothership says, of their bike? Socket says, with their bare hands. Mothership says, now who's joking around? Dead Boy says, maybe they're the ones who took Letterbomb. Sad face. Odyssey says, oh crap, 
I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. Before I even talk about this, we can see that the data is becoming more and more corrupted. Data digesting. What the hell is that supposed to mean? A wild guess, but I think it might be something with the infestation type enemies and them becoming computers, solely corrupting the internet on its own. But let's not speculate here. From the name of the file, we can see that the individuals right here are barricaded into their homes and in the city. We can deduce that the city is under quarantine and that no one is allowed to leave. They are closing off bridges and forcefully making people stay. There is also a mention of the new guys with the nasty green stuff, which I am assuming is a new enemy type that is not similar to the infestation, but rather a kind of law enforcement similar to the SCP Foundation, if you know what I'm talking about. Basically border control or something for the city. Just, yeah, try to keep the infestation and people in and everything outside out. These green guys have super strength and are extremely fast since they could throw a person off a moving bike, aka Tommy. Anyways though, the funniest thing about this would be if the green guys would actually be the Greenier, just an experimental version of them I guess, before the Orokin were a thing. That would be extremely funny, but that is just me being hopeful. It would be very very funny. That's all the chats for now though. What I also want to mention, which is very interesting to me, is the .kin file format, which is definitely not common in our universe, known as the Kinemage format. It was developed by David Rickardson for the display of three-dimensional data, particularly in the field of structural biology. These files contain data about the spatial coordinates and the connectivity of the molecules molecular structures. Now, I have no idea if the .kin file format actually has any relevance here, but it is a weird detail because we were talking about a cure and we are probably dealing with a biological weapon, so the .kin file would have some things to do with molecules and stuff like that, which is quite interesting. If there is anyone who actually uses the .kin format, please let me know how it works. I have no goddamn idea and I tried to look at it on the internet and I am just confused. <laughs> if we dig just a little bit deeper, there is a hidden detail if you click help which gives us this message. Dave, I told you to fill out the text for this help section two weeks ago. Don't forget about before we ship. We are military contractors for soul's sake. Show a little professionalism. With this, we are introduced to Dave, a military contractor who is very lazy and didn't update the help menu for more than two weeks. Obviously, we do not know who Dave is, but this once again might be the group we are introduced to in the trailer. Arthur, Owie, Quincy, Walt and now Dave, but this is just a bit of speculating on my part. We'll get more chats in the future and I will make a video about them, but for now, Let's be hopeful that we will get more soon. What do you think about this? Let me know down in the comments. Also, be sure to write about your theory, be it crackhead or genuine. I am very sorry for the lack of videos and live streams at the moment, but it is so hot here that if I close my door in my room for just 15 minutes, this place turns into a hellhole. I do not have air conditioning and I just ordered a ventilator, so... Yeah, it's gonna come in a week or two. Kill me. Anyways, this is uh, my quad lore as well, I guess. Uh, thank you for watching and I will leave you posted on any developments about Tenocon. See you and have a nice day. Bye guys.